Hello my friends, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great time today on this Sunday 27th February and we're gonna do a cat composite tonight and we're gonna do the review of the weekly challenge so yeah a lot of cool stuff. Hi Eric from Vienna Meidling, thanks for joining. Hi Tony, thanks for joining from Essex UK. All right so let's see who else is gonna join today. I hope you have a good time. I hope you stay safe. A little bit of crisis right now in Europe uh, with Russia, but so far there's not really an impact here. In Austria, I hope it stays that way, to be honest. It's pretty scary at the moment, but yeah, times are changing. So yeah, today we have a ton of fun with our cat pictures. So let's see what happens from that. There have been really cool entries um, for the weekly challenge. Hmm. There we go, some tea with my um, <laughs> with my Christmas cup, which you can't see half of it because it's green. Another big cup. The other one, yeah, not here right now. Okay, hi Cho, how are you doing? Where are you from? Let me know. Hi Joanne from the Netherlands. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. All right, I'm hoping you have a great time. I hope you have checked out my latest video, uh, Introduction to Netflix Color Effects Pro as a plugin in Affinity Photo. I'm showing you the interface, how to install that, all that kind of stuff to get you started because, well, it's, a, it's not really complex, but it's good to know all these things because there are some hidden functions in there. Yeah, so that's always good. And to be honest, I had no idea that that video is going to be so long because actually I wanted to do the video about a filter and then I thought, yeah, but I have to explain this function, that function, and that function. I thought, okay, maybe start off with just explaining the interface and just explaining how this integrates into Affinity Photo. Hi, Oliver from Germany. Thanks for joining. Nice to see you. Joe is, uh, I hope you're all fine. Okay, where are you from? Let me know, Joe. Um, Jurek from Poland. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, Joshua, is that how do you pronounce it? Joia, jo Josia, Rogers. Let's just say Rogers <laughs> from the U.S. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for joining from Southern California, Cho. Thanks for uh, telling me. Always awesome to know where people come from. Oh, by the way, I need to make this uh, a sticky um, post here for the uh, for my latest online course. And the next thing I'm creating for you is going to be. A creative pack again because I haven't done this for a long time. So I thought, um, yeah, it's a, it's I should do that again. I think people enjoyed that. People have asked me well, when it's the next creative pack coming. So yeah, this is happening. It, it's going to be a little bit delayed until the next Saturday because the last one was off by two weeks. So I'm a little bit behind my schedule, but I'm catching up to that. And of course, I want to take enough time so to make it really interesting for you. Uh, let me know if you have. Uh, if you got the the uh, fantasy portrait course, if you like that, if you miss something in that, I took a lot of time. It's 180 minutes long, so um, yeah, there should be a lot of content in there. Um, not just about editing, but also about a little bit about the choices, how I photographed it, a little bit about the technical parts, how I selected the picture, things like that, um, because I thought that might also be interesting uh, for that course. But most of it is about um, the editing, I think, I'm pretty sure. Hi, uh, Snetsana from Serbia. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. All right, I'd say let's get started here. Switch over to the normals. By the way, let me let me sort the screen here right now a little bit. Let me see, there we go. Let me find the challenge. That was also a good idea to prepare that a little bit. Uh, where do we have that? Oh yeah, 45,000 subscribers, let me, Open this up too. Mm, there's the challenge of the week. Okay, I found it, I found it. Let me see. Boom, there we go. Time is flying. It's already the end of February. I, I feel like the year just has started. Although the year, I feel, how is it for you? Did, did you? did you feel like this year was a slow start for you compared to other years? Or is it just me? Uh, I found that it's kind of really hard to get into 2022 uh, for some reason. Hmm. Anyways. Okay. Let me know in the chat. Hi, Raina from Munich. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, let's switch over here real quick. Uh, how do I um, work, work for you? Yes, that works. Okay. Perfect. Cool. 
the sound is still there yes that works too okay so i do have 45 subscribers a pretty uh, 45000 subscribers pretty important uh, uh, goal to reach um or actually i have 45300 so this is a little bit delayed <laughs> <laughs> with the celebration but i'm still very proud about reaching that goal because that took a very long time um yeah so it's pretty awesome and are uh, we are still we're just at the start of everything i i think i have done my channel for about three years or something like that um but time has flown flown by and there's still so many things to do so many um I don't know, a secret sauce to teach, projects to do, creative things to show you, maybe other uh, software uh, like like Nick Collection to explore, stuff like that. So it's really just um, the beginning of everything. It's really awesome. But of course, I'm very thank you that you are very thankful that you are here, that you're part of that community. And to be honest, um, it's one of the best communities I know on Facebook, on YouTube, um, because of course, I'm part of other groups on Facebook and there's a lot of like i don't know find fighting and saltiness and like really strange people on there sometimes if you ask questions stuff like that i in my group i never had a problem but i'm once i had a problem once i had to kick out one person but that's it and that's for all of that time that's really amazing I'm really impressed by that, right? And it's always a joy to create stuff for you. Uh, and, and everybody is so interested and creative and open uh, for these ideas. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, by the way, right now, let me know in the... Um, hi, Gavin from England. E England, thanks for joining. Awesome to see you. Hi, Shalou from Spain. Thanks for see, uh, to see you. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, right now, I'm thinking about... because. I want to do more of these videos where I go outside and shoot, but I don't want to replace my tutorials with that. So I thought maybe once in a while I post a video on a Wednesday or a, no, not on a Wednesday, on a Thursday. Sorry for that. Uh, because then it doesn't replace a tutorial. I still can show you how I um, shoot the photographs. I can take you with me on the road. And um, if people are not so interested it doesn't replace anything of the other videos it doesn't stand in the way of anything of course that's like uh, a lot of content then to create but may why not you know i thought i i really i really found um this year uh, in the time between sorry that i'm talking so long oh by the way <laughs> maybe i should let me let me go or should i let's let me go to the big view again for a second this year between Christmas and the, the first part of January, which is usually a slow time because everybody has other things to do than doing tutorials, uh, and I'm taking a little bit of time off in that time, I really miss doing that content. I knew I had to take some time off to relax and to refill the batteries, but at the same time, I really, um, I, I also with this live stream, I, I didn't enjoy not doing it. So this is why I want to go back into that, even though, uh, it's a lot of work. It's still something that is very important to me and that is bringing more fun than it is costing energy, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. And maybe maybe a, an additional video. I, I, I try to do it in the start, maybe every second week and, and see how that goes and if people are interested in that or not. We will see. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's get started here. Oh, there was another post I want to show. Oh no, those those are the weekly challenges. Okay. So um, let's get started here. I probably should open up Affinity Photo. Uh, that would be a good idea. And then we do that cat portrait um, effect. Let's see. Let's open up here as it's jumping to my second screen. Let's go with 2000 by 2000. So um, it's not too much. And then I have already Googled some pictures. And then here they also have on Unsplash, whoop, why is this not here? They have some classic paintings here too. I saw some classic, there's one, there's one. I thought this could be funny, maybe with a big, well, how do you call that, cravat? What, what is that, like a neck? I don't know. <laughs> but I thought it might be nice uh, to, this could also be cool. I mean, the long hair is maybe a little bit in the way, but this might be, for a cat, might be a cool um, posture with the stick and everything. I, I, I'm i not going to replace the paws here, the hands, just gonna be hands, um, just the head. 
in this case. Maybe we start out with this because I kind of like this here and see where we go from there. So let's do that real quick. Uh, yes, okay, I've already set this up. And then we probably want to have a cat that's looking head on at us. So this cat is looking upwards. This one is looking right at us. This guy here is pretty fluffy, so that might be interesting. Let's see, this guy we have already used. Oh, we have to also look at the light. What's the light? The light is very much, mm, not too many shadows here. So yeah, um, not sure if we find something that's completely matching that. He's very cute. Uh, not too many shadows here. We could we could use him. He has very long beard hair though. I'm not sure if we need to replace the beard hair or not. If we should do that or not. We can check that out. Uh, so let's maybe also open this up here. We have a little bit of options. Oh, he's very like... Mm, very nice. <laughs> very proud cat. Uh, okay. Um, oh wow, grumpy. A little bit grumpy face here. This could also be nice. Maybe for the other guy with the stick. That could be nice for the stick guy. So let's see, what do we have here? This could be something. He doesn't have too much beard hair. Also, there's not too much shadow here. A little bit on the side, though. Uh, this guy, he doesn't look too happy. And then we have this guy here. Maybe I feel like this is... I mean, it's kind of just a very small part of the picture. That's maybe a little bit of a problem resolution-wise. But... And it's a little bit blurry too, so that might not be the best. Um, oh, oh no. Okay, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This, this will, I think this will always happen that I forget to switch the camera. Wow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, I showed you this cat here and then this guy here and then this guy. And that guy here, and he is just like the head is a little bit small in the picture, just a small part. And then we have here these classic paintings, this dude here. And that's probably too dark, I want to find something else. And this here with the lady. And then we had another one here with a boy. But he has some hair hanging down here, so that might be a problem. But I like the posture, how he's standing. That would be kind of cute for a cat. Maybe we can cover it up with fur, but I don't know. The head would be pretty big in that case, or maybe we have someone else. Um, but I want to start with this lady here. Let's do that. Ha have I already downloaded it? I have. Okay, good. So um, I really want to use the. This is such a cute cat here, but the picture isn't completely sharp. Mm, let's see. Does this guy he have more pictures of cats? He has dog pictures, but today we are going to do cat portrait style. Okay, um, maybe him. How sharp is that? That's pretty sharp. Hmm. I mean, yes, let's maybe, should we give it a try before we search for too long? Wasting too much time? <laughs> He's cute. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Let's place some stuff in here. I think I will just drag it in here. Where do we have the challenge stream? There we go. Oh, I already have another picture here. Mm hmm. And then this guy here. Let's put him in here. And then maybe let's let's also download the other guy. Let's see. Maybe this is from the resolution good enough, and maybe it's a bit uh, like blurry but might maybe that's okay let's see okay so let's first place the lady in the background can you see everything now yes sound is good right okay i hope everything is good now why is this oh no it's okay i thought it's it's sticking out over the canvas but it's not so let me see there we go Ooh, do we need another format because i wanted to maybe have this in a format I can post on on Instagram. Mm. We could we could make the sides a little bit wider here though. 
Oh, by the way, there's a little trick how you can easily do that. You right click, duplicate, and then simply enlarge the picture in the background. You see like this. And then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You see this has a little bit of, of like faded sides here. So we probably need to, let's rasterize this real quick. And then we can delete this. Or you could also, if you want to create a mask for that, um, let's set this to zero, make this a little bit bigger here. Um, and then let's just, oh, that was a little bit too much. Let's see, we can't, the, mm, there's some stuff up here and then we're getting some stuff here from the picture behind so that's not 100% ideal. Uh, let's fix it here a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. That's good enough, okay. And then let's make another pixel layer here. Take the, uh, the clone brush, make that big. That's a bit too big, that's good. Hardness, opacity, that's okay. Mm, what what do we sample here from layers below, of course? There we go. And then there we go. Okay. Put some over here. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Um, there's some here. And so we have easily extended this and then we have some here we need to cover up. Maybe take some, it's a good that the background is very like similar for everything. It's really good here. Okay, I think kind of, kind of done here. All right, there we go. So this is good. Let's group this maybe. Do we, or maybe I can also, I could also rasterize everything so we only have one layer because we're kind of finished with that. Rasterize. Okay, let's have a look at our cats here. Uh, we can also lock this so I don't accidentally click on that layer. And then let's see. Woo, no, no turning please. Just like so. Oh, she has some hairdo up here. Nah, we can cover that up. So we have this dude here. Uh, let's make a quick selection just for a preview to see if that looks good or not. Let's go like this. Let's click on refine here real quick. Ugh. Okay, improve this a little bit so it looks a little bit better when we are while we edit. There we go. Okay, apply. Did it? Kind of worked. Okay, good. So then let's take here the brush. Is it on black? Yes, give me a little bit more hardness and then we're gonna remove some of the stuff here. This is just like for now so we see how good it looks with that cat in the picture. Uh, maybe we're gonna replace that with another cat. It's just a test. Okay, here's a very, a lot of blue. But you see, I can easily replace that. And of course, we're gonna go for a head that's gonna be too big for the um, for the image, for the body, because it just looks a little bit cuter. And then we just have to adapt that. Kind of mm, not too happy with that cat face. I'm doing well, you're welcome. I'm looking for a link to a fantastic portrait course. Uh... Do you mean my course or do you mean any course? Because I only know my course, to be honest. I don't know any other courses. So my course is sticked up on the uh, on the chat on the top. There's a sticky link that you can use um, for that. Or did I misread your text? Okay, let's see this cat here. But you see the resolution is not big enough. If we make that cat bigger, it's gonna be a little bit too blurry. So that's a no-no here. Okay, sorry, we have to look for another cat face. Let's go. Um, there's the yawning cat. I want to use that cat at some, oh, should we use it here? How big is the resolution? Ugh, what, what kind of picture is this? Very bad quality. Okay, naughty cat. 
<laughs> oh my god. He's great. We can use him for a picture. There, the quality is better. Okay. <gasps> he would be good for that other photo. One second, where was that? Um, oh. <laughs> oh, this is also good. Wait a second, let me see. Should we? I mean, hmm, kind of thinking if we should maybe. <laughs> he looks great. The light is kind of. Maybe we can flip it. Kind of want to do that right now. Sorry, I got sidetracked here. This kind of. Is it sharp, this picture here? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Let's, this guy is just too good. Sorry, let's do this real quick. Um, let's place this in here, or should we place it? I would just drag it in here. Let's use this real quick here because I'm kind of. <laughs> it's just too much, too much fun, the way this guy stands here, and the way the other cat looks. How big should that be? Let's see, like so. Okay, and then um, I think this is a quicker task to do that. Let's. Uh, select here and then we go back to the other one we can do multiple today if you are up for it that is there we go we could maybe even select the cat hair here or maybe do that later let's see that's actually pretty good from the selection let's see if I go over this if this is gonna work or not kind of kind of working let's see okay let's go over this here and then we're gonna improve this a little bit later yeah that's good enough so let's see what we have here oh that's perfect let's see mm. and make this a little bit smaller this is something that, that still annoys me. Why is this a selection not like covering everything? The outside of all the parts that you have um, haven't, are, are not seeing at that moment, right? Okay, that would be great if it would do that. So let's go down here. Remove that too. Oh no, okay. That was already bad. No, not again undo <laughs> okay there we go Roop. okay gone all right so let's see uh from the light the light should be different here so let's flip this guy oh but then he's looking in the other side it doesn't work okay let's undo this bloop there we go okay so now we basically have to let's see to find a good position for that face <laughs> that looks great he looks amazing in that. Okay, the the face expression is just perfect for this. All right, so we will adapt the light maybe later a little bit. Let's see. Um, okay, so we have to make this transparent here. And then, okay, first maybe let's figure out what the exact position is going to be for that face. Mm, I feel like this is okay. The only thing we have to figure out is with the hat, if this is going to match or not. Mm, we have an ear here, but that shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> so let's remove that stuff up here real quick. And then, <clears throat> sorry. Let's see. We have a smaller brush here. And I think we're going to make a special kind of selection then around that hair here i'm not quite sure how we handle that ear i think i will cover this simply up with some other stuff from the picture below so let's see how that looks yeah wrong one there we go yeah it's not too bad okay cool all right, so now here's the trick. Here's how we're going to do this. 
Um, I'm going to use my uh, brush here on the mask, but I'm going to use a special brush. Oh, by the way, let's save this because recently when I used, um, recently when I used Affinity Photo together with OBS, I had the software crash sometimes. Pet um, portrait, cat. All right. I think this was very annoying during the recording of my um, my portrait, fantasy portrait online course because I had to do some videos so often because it would crash right in the middle. And then of course you don't have the steps anymore that you're showing. Um, so yeah, very annoying. I have a I have a fur set here. There it is, fur brush. Perfect. Okay. So this fur brush, as you can see, is fur, but it's not rotating yet. So we have to do that here. So I go in here to the brush settings, dynamics, and then what I want to have here is rotation uh, at random, scattering less. Let's see. Uh, spacing also less. So we get this kind of furry border that you can see here right now. And then, of course, I want to have this smaller like so, let's see, that looks kind of good. And then let's switch the color to white. And now I should be able, you see, to make a nice furry edge here where the head is sticking out of the head. Is this how you would say that, the head sticks out of the head? I'm not quite sure, maybe give this some shape here. Yeah, that's not too bad, okay. Uh, we have to cover up that part in the back though, here with the ear. Mm, let's just, let me make an extra layer here, layer from beneath. Did it, did it? Yes, it did, okay, cool. So let's um, make this harder here and then smaller too. No. Okay, but a little bit bigger, there we go and then simply cover this up with the rest of the head like so and we're going to we don't we are not going to see the rest of it we just need to cover up that part uh yes yours i don't see him what what do you mean you don't see him oh now it's gone it should be a sticky lick on top um can I, wait, when I unpin this, can I copy this again? Ah, wait a second. If I open this up, oh, this is opening up here. So let's go like this and then switch back here. Mm. Okay. There you go, that's the link. And actually a, a, a bot should post this link every once in a while, which apparently today the bot doesn't have, isn't, isn't working for some reason. Okay, anyways, now we have that here. Let's go back to work. Um, yes, okay, mask. And then I kind of have to cover this up in the other direction, which is a little bit bad right now because I have, oh, I can also do it like this. No problem, you see, works in both ways, pretty awesome. And then we can go back into the other direction like this, bringing a little bit softer hair out here. And there we go, we have our cat um, hat covered by that other hat. I'm not quite happy with the shape though, mm, maybe, Let's bring this in here a little bit more. Let me see. For that guy, we have a straight line and then it's curving. Okay, so maybe we should do something similar. So this is curving and then maybe here is straight line. So maybe let's do it like this. And then bring back the hair. And then it's curving to the side. 
That looks better. Okay, cool. Um, now here we have, well, is it a problem or not? First of all, we have some red showing through here. So I'm thinking about maybe replacing the hair with some lines that we create on our own. Um, we could do that. Maybe we should do that. Let's let's remove that stuff here. Okay, so this is how we do that. Let's um, first of all let's paint this in here and remove these. Uh, how do you say this? I'm like, what what is the name of these specific hairs? My mind says bristles, but I don't think bristles is the right word for that. But maybe it is. I'm not sure. Let me know if you know what that is. Wh whiskers! Whiskers, that's it. Whiskers. Okay, my brain still functions. All right, so here we have this. And then I want him to have a little bit of hair sticking out down here. So let's go here with the other direction. What's happening right now? Why is this black? Oh, because he's wearing a sweater. Uh, um, um, we could copy some hair from somewhere else. Or maybe just extend this hair. Or maybe have an extra layer down there with some more hair on that. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, or maybe let's remove this hair here because there's some clothing. Bring this in a little bit closer. And then let's see. Yeah, that's probably good enough. All right. Whiskers, thank you very much, Armstrong. Awesome. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do next? We have here some beard hair, and I told you we're going to replace that. So let me um, think about that for a second. I'm going to do a curve, I guess. That's probably the best way to do this right now. Mm, pen tool. We'll stroke. We make this white and then give it a certain thickness here. Let's see how this looks. Let's say maybe three, three points. There we go. Let's see. If I go from here to here, how does that look? Hmm. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad. We have to blend this probably a little bit. Let's see. Let's rotate this. I don't think we can make that um, thinner at the tip. So let's duplicate this real quick. Duplicate and then turn one off and rasterize the other. So now it's a pixel layer and now I can use my eraser here. Mm. Let me see. Zoom in here a little bit. Maybe I rotate this back like so. Ew, that's rough. Okay. Mm, nope. Mm, it is too bright. So uh, let's make a selection out of this by I hold sh uh, control and click on the layer. Then I will feather this a little bit. Feather. Let's go with maybe two pixels. Might be too big. And then we're going to shrink this selection shrink mm. well this might be too much let's see delete how does that look mm, no it's not good um maybe if i only feather it no okay Okay, let's do it by hand. Um, make this a little bit smaller here. I 
Maybe I should have made this a straight line. It would have been easier. Especially with a mouse. So let's fade this out here. And then over here, let's do this a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow, no, that's too much. Okay, not too bad. Let's rotate this a little bit. Why is it? Why does it have steps now? Oh, that's just a preview. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's make this a little bit transparent. That's seventy-five percent. Looks good. Okay. And then let me bring the rotation point to this corner here. So it's easy to see now I can rotate it around that anchor point. So now I can simply put it where I want it to start and then um, rotate it like this. And so now I can simply have some different hairs here in different positions. Let's bring this in a little bit closer here. Here and there and up here and then down here. And then we can rotate these a little bit. Yeah, that works pretty well. There we go. Oh, there's one more. Where is that one? Nope. This one? Yes. Okay, cool. And I maybe make some of them a little bit smaller. Okay, and then maybe fade some of them a little bit more. There we go. That's a... <laughs> that's a lot of amount of detail for a cat portrait. Maybe it's a bit too much. Is that too much? I feel like over here it's too bright. Mm, let's put them all together in one group. Control G and then put a mask on that and then maybe paint a little bit over that mask so we can fade this a little bit on one side. Uh, give me black as a color here. There we go. Reduce the opacity. Does this do anything? It should. Bring in some more here. The only thing I don't like is that it gets these steps when we zoom out, but maybe I guess this might only be in the preview. We could also blur the whole group a little bit. Gaussian blur, maybe two pick one. Oh, blur. Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay, never mind about that. Uh, so this is whiskers. Whiskers right. And then we simply duplicate the group. Control J, which it doesn't do right now. There it is. Okay, arrange, flip horizontally to the other side. There we have some additional whiskers here. I was wondering if you can critique some of my affinity designer work. Mm, not in the live stream. Um, you can write me, uh, write me a private message on Facebook. That's probably the best way. Mm. I can give you some feedback on that maybe. Let's see if I feel competent enough to do that. Because there's a lot of different designs out there, so maybe you're doing something I'm, I have no business talking about. Um, so yeah. Also, I can only give you my perspective, of course. There's a lot of different opinions. Some people like it, some people don't like it, and it doesn't really have to do with um, how good it is or not. Um, There we go, you see, 
just copy it over and then you just line it up with the other beard hairs and boom done looks pretty good the only thing i don't like is that it makes these steps but i think that's just that's just affinity photo being a little bit crazy okay so now uh what we need to do is to have a little bit of the uh like do we need to change the light? I feel we need to change the light here. Also, uh, we need to have, um, give me this picture here. Sorry, duplicate that. Let's save this also. And then filters, blur, average. Oh, my canvas is on an angle. Do you see that? This is because I hold Alt and then I rotate my mouse wheel and this rotates the canvas. So now the canvas is straight again. And now the hairs look good again. Ah, okay. So this is the little problem that we just faced with all that um, craziness of um, steps. So now that's fixed. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a curve from the hair. Let's call this whis whiskers master. Okay. Um, is it, by the way, do you have the same thing where you have typed for decades on a keyboard and then still you need to look down on what you're writing sometimes? Because I can write blind when I write comments or stuff, but then when I do this, I have to look down for some reason. There's some things I think the brain, maybe my brain, I don't know how about you, never learns. Like also with the, with the alphabet. If you go um, for a certain letter, do you have to go through the alphabet or is it like you just know, okay, that's there? You know what I mean? Uh, when you go like, um, I don't know, P and you have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, E, blah, 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 until you come to P and then you know, oh, okay, that's there. That's that's the position. You just, you don't know exactly the position without spelling out that, maybe just a part of that, you know? Um, all right. <laughs> I think it's a lot of people have the same problem. Okay, anyways, uh, what I want to do here is I need to create a mask and then we put the mask here on this and this is gonna be our ambient light. So let's call this ambient light. There we go. And then we're gonna set this to soft light, undo the uh, selection or deselect and then simply um, adjust here. And you can see like this, 50% looks kind of good. We have, um, well, I'm able to do a little bit less. Do a little bit less or more, I'm not sure, more. Also good, eh, not too bad. Okay, cool. So we have done this. Ah, uh, let me think now with the light, with the light. Should we adjust the light or should we not adjust the light? It comes from the right side in this image. Mm, we can give it a try. Let's give it a try here. Um, for this, I think I'm gonna, no, this is the wrong one. I'm gonna duplicate this mask here real quick and pull it out. And then I'm going to create a group and then put them. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's already, It's it should be the mask of that group though. And then we're gonna put some uh, curves in here. Let's do that, okay. And now let's pull this down. Ugh, that doesn't look good. Okay, let's go here to luminosity, yes, please. And then let's see, mm, let's pull it down like that. And then invert that, invert, there, layer invert. And I'm gonna take a paintbrush uh, with white on that um, and like this and then low opacity and then we should be able to paint that shadow on that side here. The big question is where's the shadow gonna be? Uh, we can a little bit orient here on that shadow on that side here. So let's go like this, maybe a little bit more here from the opacity. So I'm not sitting here tomorrow. There we go. Maybe up here also shadow from the head. Hmm. Okay, let's make a second one, second curve adjustment, and uh, maybe also set this to luminosity and then bring this up like so. Maybe a little bit more contrast here. A 
okay again invert and then also we want to name these curves so this is a uh, light and the other one is shadow how how long has the stream been on so far 46 minutes that's good I'm not sure if you thought you're gonna watch me for such a long time to edit a cat photo, but that's that's what it is. Okay, there we go. It's a pretty involved process right now. So we're gonna lighten up this side here so this, 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 the light is coming from here again. And you can see I can't go over the edge because I have a mask on that group. So that's the trick here. And then uh, maybe we are going to also, let me see, how's that? <laughs> Perfect. This guy looks just amazing. He looks so miffed about doing that job. It's just perfect. I don't like the darkness here on that side. just doesn't look too good. And also the hair here. For some reason now it doesn't look too great. Maybe this is the ambient light? No, it's not the ambient light. Um, yeah, this is the overall adjustment we didn't maybe we didn't um or is this the original picture mm, might be might be um let me think real quick okay i'm gonna turn this off i'm gonna turn this off and then we are going to paint again oh i have to reset oh we still have the fur brush okay that's good uh, let me set this to 100% here real quick. Hardness 100%. And then this has to be a little bit smaller here. And then, no, this is too small. Mm, we're going to paint the light here again. Because I feel like this side of the face isn't furry enough. Let's remove a little bit here of the face. That was too much. Anyways, we have to repaint that anyways. Don't worry. So now we get a furry edge of the face. That's much better. And maybe we can shape his head a little bit rounder. Yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad. There we go. Yes. A very distinguished gentleman. <laughs> there we have it. Okay, let's uh, duplicate this and bring it up here. Uh, let me first delete the other mask so we're not getting confused here. So this is the one. Let's bring this up. And then let's duplicate this again. Boom. And then we go up here, delete this mask, and then bring this mask up here for that group. And then turn this on and then turn this on. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. It it might, I might do a final adjustment here of everything where I redefine that a little bit. Because maybe it's that everything has its own mask. Could I bring this in here? I can't bring this in here though. Mm. Anyways, let's let's go on here uh, for now. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we can have a little bit more contrast on this side here. Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then um, I also want to have a little bit more. Let's see. Let's make another curve here. Mm, curve and this is gonna be um, warmth warmth let's do it like that and then we go to lab mode here and when we go to is it a B no is it uh, sorry I have to reset that let's reset everything B opponent yes And then reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay. Good. How does that look? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's just great. Okay. Awesome. Um, I'm still not super happy about how this looks. Why is this so different here? Do you see that? Why is there such an ugly edge here? Um, let's pull this out. Is this better now? Hmm. How about this? If we pull this out and then stick it as a long line, is that better? No. 
Yeah, this is kind of it's kind of affinity photo being stupid, I think, right now. What the problem is. Mm. We could make here a bigger mask and then I adjust it afterwards. You see also there's like dark hair up here. So let me duplicate this mask here real quick. And then I will repaint this. So first we're going to extend this. Does this extend? Yes. Okay, let's extend all of that a little bit outside. Like so. Does it look bad right now? Don't worry about that. I just want this to be much bigger. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now is to rasterize everything. Let me hide all the stuff we don't need. Also this here. Okay. Uh, the whiskers. We don't need the whiskers right now. Okay, so now I'm going to merge visible. So we have a pixel layer just of this. Um, yes, that should work. Okay, now I bring back the whiskers. Oh, we have both of the whiskers. Oh. oh, okay, sorry, I have to do this again. One second. Okay, right click, uh, merge visible. And then we bring back the whiskers. We bring back the image and the cover of the ear. And now we have the head here separated, basically. This is light and shadow. Light and shadow. Uh, where's the chat, by the way? I don't see that right now. It inspired me to start drawing. Sorry, I didn't read that. I was wondering if we can... Uh -huh. Love what is going in here. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, I am. That's good. Uh, John says, uh, thank you for teaching your craft. It inspired me to start drawing fine friends portraits now that all I do that's all I do. You draw the portraits really? Interesting. Okay. That's amazing. That's that's very hard to do. Okay, let's turn off everything here in the background. So we only have this layer now. And now I can um, create a mask for this where I then remove that hair again. And then I have a, a nice um, hair line here for my cat. Let's see. So let's push in here like so. Actually make it a little bit smaller than it should be. And then we go out again in the other side so we have hair. So let's do this. It's quite involved today. Okay, and let's go. Let's push this outside. You see, now we get some hair. Maybe I should do the hair. It's a little bit too small right now. Let's do this a little bit bigger. This is too big, of course. Yeah, that's better. Maybe I shouldn't um, do too many strokes here so we see more of the individual hairs. Okay, let's make it even bigger. That's better. It's a little bit more visible. So now we can have the same thing down here. Ah, uh, it doesn't show individual hairs. One second. Let me just get rid of this whole part here of the face. So this is a mask, right? This is why I can go backwards and forwards, not an eraser, just so you know. Hmm. Hmm. Let's undo this. Maybe I'm just being overcritical right now. There we go. You know the cook always tastes the his own food and doesn't like it. <laughs> the cook is only the only one who 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 realizes the the ingredients missing because um he he yeah, 
just looks too closely on everything. There we go. It's kind of good. What is this, by the way, here? Did the artist get bored, or why is this a shadow from something? Or this doesn't look too fancy. And this is what is this up here? I'm pretty sure that's an original image, right? Let me let me check this. What? Why do I have a shadow here? Oh, maybe this is where I applied the mask. Oh, no. Again, um, Affinity Photo is kicking me in the back. This is our ambience, um, ambient mask. Take a basic here, basic brush, make it a little bit bigger, and then we just hide that. Always the little things. Let's see. Uh, we need black to hide that. 100%. We are at 100%. Why does it not do anything? Oh, because... Oh, because we have this on an extra layer. Yes, of course. Okay, let's make this big, and then we are done with this. I did not think that we will take, um, like, 40 minutes to do that one thing here. Why is this here, actually? Maybe, ah, because it's part of the face layer. Okay, anyways. The hair, I'm not happy with the hair. Are you happy with the hair, how the hair looks around that on the outside? The rest is cool, but the hair is kind of... I'm not really happy with that. But I don't want to sit here like an hour and try to f like go backwards and forwards on the hair. It looks cool when you zoom in, but it doesn't look so great when you zoom out. Mm. I wish it were more furry, which the brush does, but somehow you don't see it. Maybe because it's, everything is so small. But it's still cute. I really like it. <laughs> the face expression is priceless on this guy. Okay. Um, let me save this real quick. Not too happy with the hair. Kind of... Why is it looking like this? I don't understand. Because the brush is really great for this purpose. Hmm. Um, okay. Let me see the... This is not working here. There's the photo. Is it maybe the photo? It's a little bit blurry here on the sides, right? Maybe that's the reason. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Ah. Let me really quickly have a look here on some other cats. Mm. What a nice cat, wow. Pretty awesome. This guy would be maybe cool for the other picture, maybe, right? Should we do the other picture still? Do you want to do that? Or should we do the reviews now of your works? Well, what's, um, what would you want to do at this point? Ooh, so many nice cat photos here. So cute. But he also has this kind of... I mean, it's, it's a short hair cat, so of course their fur is short on the sides, like in my picture. Yeah, okay. Let me see. We Because we fixed that here... Let's turn on the original. Ah, there we extend it. Oh, we, we can turn this off. Wait a second. Like so. I mean, we can also use this one. It's probably better, this one. Okay, let's save this. Let me know if you want to see if should I do one more uh, with that um, with the lady that we had before with this one or should we do the the reviews of the weekly um, of the weekly weekly challenge? Huh. 
How's the picture look? Maybe this guy is good for that. <laughs> Stand up this real quick. Be until you answer, I will I will do a little bit of that work on here. Let's see. Let me push this in here real quick. And then you can answer me in the meantime. Let's save this as a second one, Cat Portrait, Cat Portrait 2. Yes, one more. The lady. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this one is a little bit color adjusted, but maybe we can fix that. Let's see. Um, I think I will keep the whiskers layer, at least one of them, and then delete all of the other layers because now we have saved this to second file so we don't have all that baggage in the background. Okay, uh, let's make this a little bit transparent here. I think this, maybe this is going to be better. There we go. That's kind of good. So let's put a mask on this. No, sorry, that's too early. <laughs> we have to make a selection first. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Um, am I on the right layer? Yes, I think so. Okay, cool. Let's do this real quick and then go to refine. And then let's see if we can get something out of this. Or if it is too complex. Oh, I think Affinity Photo is doing quite a good job here right now. Man, I can't wait until AI is good enough where you can just say or just point at things and it will understand what's going on and what kind of thing you want to do at that point. Uh, for these kind of menial tasks, right? Not for the artistic stuff. Sometimes for the artistic stuff, uh, but mostly for this kind of menial stuff that you don't really want to do on uh, by hand. Oh, that looks perfect. It looks amazing. <laughs> that is great. Okay, we, we need to, to fluff up the background a little bit because the colors here are quite boring, to be honest. But um, let me close this here. Uh, wow. <laughs> That is so much better than the other one. The other one is cool too, but this is this is a more fun, I think. Okay, we have to paint a little bit on the. Okay, let's paint the mask here real quick. Uh, let's see. We have to switch over here and then make this smaller a little bit. Yes, please. And then what do we have here? Hardness is okay. Why is this? Oh, okay. That's I understand. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's paint on this a little bit here. All right. I think is this is just dark in the background here, right? Yes. Okay. But there's a little bit more of the ear here, so I'm painting this in by hand. Maybe we can maybe we can even get this hair here and then go the other direction and paint this out again. Stuff that we don't need. Uh-huh. Maybe at that point I should use my fur brush again. That we have to, I think we have to set this up again. One second. Mm, there we have it, fur brush. And we have multiple fur brushes actually. So maybe this time we use this one. That is a little bit more furry. Maybe this would have been better for the other one. Rotation is good. Uh, the oh, Let's go like this maybe. Okay, that looks actually already pretty nice. Okay, and then let's see. Make some stuff visible down here. You can see how this looks very nice and furry right now. Bring it over here. I just have to see if this is, maybe bring this back here a little bit. bit smaller huh 
How is that? That looks already pretty amazing. Okay, um, should we do something over here? I feel like we see a bit of the background over here, so maybe let's reduce this a little bit here and then go, wait, go in the other direction again to build up some fur. That looks great, okay. I think this time I'm gonna leave the light as it is because it's kind of more fun to have a, f a head where you clearly see it doesn't fit there rather than if it's matching too good. I'm not sure, let me know what you think about that. Okay. Um, I kind of think that a part of the fun is to see that it's fake and um, laugh about it, right? So let's adapt some of these hairs here for the right angle. There we go. Next one. Next one. And another one. Maybe this one here. Come on, do it. There we go. All right. This other side is, I think, pretty okay here. Um, yeah. What do you think? I think it looks pretty okay. Let's duplicate some of them to make them a little bit brighter. There we go. Let's fade this one. There we go. Okay, let's work a little bit on the background. Let's see if we can do something good here. Oh, we could play a little bit with Nick Collection, actually. Um, okay, first, let me see. We brighten this up a little bit. Oh, and we have to... Ooh, look at that. That's pretty nice. Let's not make it too fancy. Like that. Uh, we have some uh, hair of that lady here in the background. By the way, this hair is maybe not perfect up here. So let's see if we can fix this a little bit here. So we're getting background if I do go in that direction. Let's see if we go in the other direction. And then back again. Mm -hmm. We do get some of that blue here though. Let's make this brush smaller. I want to just get rid of this a little bit here. So this is not peeking through. Other direction with some hair. There's some blue here. Okay, cool. And now we have to cover up the back. This is going to be easy. Mm, we're just going to make a new pixel layer and then a new, uh, not a new, a clone brush. And just pick it from over here, I guess. That should be good enough. Make it soft hardness so there's no kind of hard edges that could be visible. And there we go, that should be it. <laughs> that is that is amazing. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Um, let me pull everything together here um, in one group maybe. And then just resize it a little bit. Okay, good. Uh, let me save this and then I will right click here, merge visible so we have an extra layer and let's go here real quick into 
Nick Collection Color Effects. There we go, and let's see if we can do some nice thing with that. Crazy how you select the stun strands of hair. Uh, yeah, but I have a fur brush for that, right? So it looks it looks furry. Mm. Or did you mean the selection of that single brush? I just kind of I like to paint in these um, selections. Let's see what we can do here. Um, dynamic skin softener. Um, Glamour glow. Let's try this. It's kind of nice. Makes it a little bit softer. We could try that. Mm, photo stylizer. Ooh. This makes it too fancy, but I mean that's that's pretty hot, right? It brings everything in a nice way together, I like that. Maybe we should keep that. Let's go on. Uh, what else do we have here? We could have a vignette, a blur vignette, blur vignette. Maybe not on a painting, right? We can have a look at the normal pin yet. That is too much though. Um, the size, whoops, sorry. Opacity, just a bit, let's see. Yeah. Ah, I like Nick Collection so much for the things you can do with it. And then we also have the detail extractor here. We can play with this a little bit. Let's see. Mm. Whoop. No, not too much. Let's turn this on and off. Uh, let's go here to fine. Maybe it's just a smidge, could be nice. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. I think that looks pretty amazing, considering the time spent. And this this is why I like these effects, you know? Like I know a lot of people say, ah, oh, you can also do it in other software. It's not the point. The point is that you have some very specific effects that do a thing very well. They are built for that, you know? And you save a lot of time and they do things that are really hard to do. And also, it's a different software. It's coded in a different way. Just because it's a plugin doesn't mean it does the same thing that the software that it's hosting the plugin can do. This is a completely different plugin with uh, like software with very different code with very different ways to um, to to handle that. You know, it's like it's like when you think about music and you have a guitar from one builder and then you have a guitar from another builder. They sound different. You can't do the same thing on one guitar and on the other. You can play the same songs, but they don't sound the same, right? So that's that's a difference between these effects and um, the host software, right? Okay, anyways, there we have it. Should we do the same thing with the other one? I feel like it would improve the other picture. Let's open this up again real quick and do some Nick Collection magic here. Man, that short hair, but it's kind of, I'm not happy with that. Anyways, let's go here and um, merge visible. Sometimes I'm too strict with the creations. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Uh, color effects, yes, please. Um, and then I think we're again going to do some glamour glow here to make it just a little bit softer. Everything you see. Oh, oh, look at that. I push it up really hard. It looks a lot more like this is uh, uh, like everything is a painting. Hmm. Okay, I think I will keep that. And then we're going to go here with the vignette filter, make it the size really big again. And the opacity low, just so we have a little bit of. Why is this? What? <laughs> Why is this back again? What is happening right now? One second. Why do I see this again here? Um. No, this is the whiskers. Where is this coming from? Is this on the overall uh, overall ambient light? Yeah, for some reason. I, for some reason, we didn't have the mask here fully um, deployed. Let's see. Let's do this. Um, 
uh, no, I want a soft one. Okay, and then make this a little bit bigger. And then, yes, let's paint this on here to remove that. Man, you have to look out for every little detail to be in control of these things. Okay, let's merge visible. Um, save this real quick so we don't lose anything. Let's go back to... Um, oh, we also have Filter Forge, by the way. We're not going to use that right now, but also pretty amazing as a plugin. Uh, you can do some paint effects, stuff like that. Maybe we should use it in a second. Ah, uh, we can see about that. Okay, let's see. What's the stream time? Oh my god! We are already over one hour. So let's um, do some magic here real quick. One second. Let's go like this really hard. And then we put some filter here on the... Uh, what is it called? Vignette? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then maybe... Cross-processing maybe a little bit. Looks fancy. Let's see. This is not too bad, like that. Hmm. I think this one is pretty okay. This is bringing everything together in a nice way. Um. The glamour glow is making it a little bit dark. So let's see here. Bring it up a little bit with this. Oh yeah, and then we can protect a little bit the highlights here. Okay. Uh, what about this? How about this? I like the blue touch. It's a little bit good. It's it's nice. Okay, let's do this. So there we go. Ah, it's a little bit darker than before, but still. Is it good enough or is it too dark? I am I have the tendency to make pictures a little bit too dark because I personally like it, but for social media often the brighter version is better because it hits you more in the face, basically. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's it's more attention drawing, probably better, the better phrasing. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, one second. I thought uh, I said, let's see if this crashes the program or not. Uh, Filter Forge. Upgrade. No, thanks. Not right now. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, we can also make a frame, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, creative. Mm, yes, creative. And then we have these paint effects. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Why is it not doing? Oh, it might take a lot of time. Um, why is it at a frame right now? Um, impressionist. But that's not messy. This one. Mm. It should be, it needs to be a little bit finer, but I think it takes too much time now to play around with the... Um, with the settings here to get a nice result from that. But you can see you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. It's just right now it's not too, it's not fine enough to result. So let's, let's kick this right now. Don't have time for that. Okay, anyways, there we go. We have two cats that we have created today. <laughs> this one is so much better because of the long hair. It just makes everything look very furry. And this one is pretty cool, but a kind of this edge here doesn't, it's just like this, I like this one. That's great. Okay, cool. There we go. So let's go back to our review here. So uh, things are not getting too long. Um, let's close this down, let's close this down, sorry. Uh, there's the challenge for the week. There we go. Thank you very much for everybody who has taken part in that. This is in my Facebook group, of course. 
Um, the reason, by the way, people ask why not somewhere else, because Facebook has such good tools to organize these kind of events. Other pages don't. Uh, like, uh, for example, in Facebook, you can comment with pictures. You cannot do that, as far as I know, on Reddit. And Reddit is very ugly from the interface anyways. And then you have Discord, and it's a chat room. I hate chat rooms, so um, I don't really know any other page. And also, everybody has Facebook. Everybody and their mom especially has Facebook, so that's good, multi-generation. So yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do the review here right now. Do you see anything, everything? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Devil Dog by Steven, that's it. Is it very low resolution or is it like maybe Facebook has eaten the picture? But usually Facebook has high resolution pictures. Maybe you, oh, the, the, the dog photo is very high, uh, very low resolution. Okay, interesting. Um, so these are the source pictures. Maybe you should have tried to use a better dog picture. If it's your dog, I understand, but, but maybe photograph him again in a better light or something. I'm not sure. It's very low resolution. Um, so of course you have a little bit of a problem then uh, putting it in here. It still it still looks cool. It's just very low resolution. I think this the same work would look a lot better if you had it in, in a high resolution um, uh, quality. But it's it's not too bad. Uh, the way you have integrated down here with the shirt is kind of blurry. So that's a bit um, strange. And then the background, why is the background so strange? Is this from the original photo? Yeah, probably, okay. And this, of course, when you have such a low resolution picture and then the background looks so blurry, it kind of, the hat and the, the, the background have the same low quality feel to that. And it feels like that the hat is sinking a little bit into the background while the rest of the body is in front of that because it's nice and sharp and crisp. So yeah, that might be a problem. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Very nice idea, very nice execution. Um, but I think if you do the same thing with more high resolution pictures, probably ending up a lot better. All right, let's go on to the next one. Ooh, Sholu has done some magic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is very nice. Awesome. Very cool. Let's look here at the original pictures. Oh, even three different pictures because of the frame. Interesting. Very nice. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a good idea to use an extra frame here. That's pretty cool. And an additional gallery background with a shadow here on top of that. That's pretty cool. Um, you missed a little bit these little spots here on the, there's these kind of gaps in the frame because you can see here that they are here a lot brighter than the background. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little detail uh, on the side. The rest is pretty cool. Very nice, looks awesome. Very cool. <laughs> also, the face expression from Doc is really awesome. Okay, really good work here. Um, the Maybe the ambient light could be adjusted a little bit so it, it looks uh, closer to it because you can see that the here he has like a, you see this kind of soft light that has a little bit of um, maybe patina on it is a little bit, um, is a little bit brownish, everything. And then the, the dog light is different. It's kind of this white uh, technical light more. Of course, it's like a outside light, but you know what I mean, like from a from a technical, from a digital camera, right? It's not um, it's not as, as soft and warm as light over here. So just maybe warm the head up a little bit from the from the white balance, and that should blend it in just fine. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, Jean Lu. Pretty cool. Oh, this reminds me. I wanted to do these kind of weekly. Um, from the weekly challenge as the Hall of Fame. I completely forgot about that. I have such so much stuff on my list. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> that this this picture has a great story. Listen to that. Because I said, hey, please um, post the, the pictures of the source pictures. And he says it's just one photo. And I was looking at that and I first thought maybe the dog is inside of the shirt. But then the body doesn't look like there's someone else under that shirt. And I don't see any like dog um, paws down there on the ground. Um, and you can clearly see here from the editing that this is a little bit blurry here. You see the cutout and everything. And then there's some hair hanging. Uh, so 
um, it has to be edited, right? It is edited, right? And then um, Philip says, or Felipe, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, showed me this picture. It's actually just one photo. And then he simply cut out this part and placed it up here. So, and I didn't think about that. You, you can, of course, do the thing with one photo instead of two and then still create an effect like that. So that's pretty interesting. And this is also why the light is working so good because it's the same light, same ambient, same white balance, everything same uh, because it's in the same shot. So that's actually a pretty good idea um, to do it like that. Very nice, very cool. Of course, with the editing to look a little bit uh, about uh, like, for example, down here, you have this kind of blurriness. Maybe again, like I did with a fur brush, you can try that. Or what you can also try is to take some other fur parts, like maybe from up here or from somewhere else and just like cut them out and then place them down here as a border, natural fur with a good selection, stuff like that uh, that you can do. And of course, you see here in the background um, the blonde hair of the lady that's hanging down here. That is probably a bit harder to remove that. You could maybe copy that part of that arm up here uh, to replace that part to make it look like it's the upper arm and then bring stuff from over here to here um, to replace that. But it's going to be a bit more work to hide all of these kind of things. Or before you take the photo, just tell her to... Uh, put a hair ring on or a hair net even better to keep all of that up uh, and so you don't have to problem you can just replace the head all right there we go that was pretty cool thank you very much um i want in on this juan ju ju uh, sorry juan juan you can you can join my you can join my facebook group there you go let me post this um join my facebook group whoops one second there we go boom this is the link you can um join me there and then do the next uh this is already finished this challenge for this week but we're gonna have a challenge on the next week this is from chris and that's pretty cool it's a little bit disturbing <laughs> he looks like a um a little bit like a hedgehog what what movie is that where you see these faces and it looks like this. And I think it's a hedgehog. I'm not quite sure. It's I'm sure that's from a movie or a TV show. Um, and it looks so much like this, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Mm. Anyways, it looks pretty nice. Also with the hair that's coming out here and it looks like dog hair. So that's pretty awesome. And this is the dog. Oh, the dog has already the glasses on. I didn't think about that. This is why it looks so realistic because it's already actually on that dock. And then um, you cut this out here from the helmet to put it below that. Oh, that's good. Okay, interesting. I didn't even think about that. Why, um, by the way, why didn't you use a little bit more of the of the fur over here uh, from from that. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for fur, let's go here to Google real quick. Uh, fur brush, fur brush. You can Photoshop. You can just see if you find some. I think this might be the one that I'm using. Yeah, I think that's it. Consent. Okay. And you can just download that, and then you have to you have to look through that um, to the rules on where you can use it, how you can use it for, for private use. It's always no problem. I think you have to name them um, if you do that. Uh, and then if you want to use it commercially, they have like a premium thing or you can buy them individually. I think stuff like that. You have to check that out. And there's some other there's some other sources too, of course. Okay. Um, whoops. Let's go back here. This is it. But it's, that looks really good. All of that looks pretty amazing. Uh, it's a little bit like it's getting a little bit blurry. And, and over here, it's kind of this area here is kind of strange. I'm not sure why. It's it's like that in the original picture. Maybe because um, there is some motion blur here because the hair is moving in the wind. And then because they are standing, 
it's kind of it's kind of strange why suddenly this part is so blurry here this specifically and here you have so much detail in the front but other than that it's pretty cool it looks pretty nice oh, there's some other glasses up here <laughs> okay so this guy has multiple glasses now as a dog dog person okay there we go thank you very much chris looks pretty awesome this one is from oliver wow okay very nice with the background and the colors matching very nicely let's see so this is the original image or images better said with the dock and some overlay how was the overlay used um i'm not sure if i'm seeing it right now but I assume you create an overlay over the dog so the dog looks a little bit more painted than um, the just the photo, which is a good idea. Um, and you have some texture here too that is a little bit gritty uh, from these kind of colors um, like running down uh, to give a little bit more texture to that. I'm, I'm not seeing it on the dog at all, but it's a good idea to do if you want to have something look like it's painted on, um, on canvas or on paper or stuff like that. Just, just try to find a paper or canvas texture and then put it on top of that. So it gets a bit of that texture in there. Um, and it makes it look like it's printed on some material rather than being just a flat digital image. Right? So that can be pretty good. And then this looks very nice, also with the ambient light and everything. There's a little bit like you can see again with these edges, they are very clean up here. So maybe a little bit with the fur brush. And here you have a little bit of a shine on the edge. Um, but maybe that's good to separate it more from the background. You have to see if this looks better if you remove that these kind of glowing edges here, a little bit of rim light or not. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty cool. Very nice, very cool. Okay, awesome. Mateos has created this one wow <laughs> i like the attitude that the cat has from the face is this a mancoon cat um they are absolutely amazing wait do we have this man do you write it like this mancoon 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 oh there's just one picture here let me let me go to google real quick mancoon 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 this is how you write that okay Look at that. Look at that face expression. That is amazing. And they are gigantic. They are really big cats. Of course, the price is equally big. <laughs> look at that. They look like from a fantasy film. Like you, you almost imagine like, uh, what, what's the name of that singer who made the labyrinth? Um, um, I don't, I don't know, but you, you kind of expect him coming around the corner with his three glass balls, like balancing it on the hand, like in the movie. Look at that face. Look at that. Wow. They have such an expressive face. It's really crazy. This, uh, I mean, this is a little bit grumpy, a little bit like fantasy, mysterious look pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, let's go back to this. And this has a is this is this a main coon maybe it's not i'm not sure but the face expression is pretty awesome it fits really the body posture and everything so it's pretty cool um i feel like the head is sitting a bit too high maybe um of course it's a fantasy creature so the neck could be longer i uh, just feel like it, it's a little bit higher maybe that should be um but still it works the dynamic is there so that's pretty cool here we have the, um, oh yeah, it's a mango. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, here we have the original pictures. Oh, I like how you also changed the color of the fur and the color of the eyes to make it more intense. Pretty cool. Very good idea. I like that. And also you, you chose to use a small hat and it's fitting more to the body uh, because of course it's very inviting in this situation to make a huge hat and make it more cute and more um how to say mm, fancy not not fancy like goofy oh wow so this is um this is from marie more like an artistic style here i really like how you edited the fur so it's kind of bending around the um the neck of the shirt so that's pretty cool and then also the rest of the elements it's it's less 
this kind of either classic painting or realistic styles, more the case fantasy combination of different kind of elements. Pretty cool. Very nice. Oh, sorry, someone someone's writing here. Okay. So here we have the source images. Wow. It's an impressive portrait. Okay, cool. And the cat. Very nice. Very nice. Also with the like the direction works pretty well here. Did you it kind of looks like this head is rotated a little bit more. It's kind of strange. Uh, maybe because it's this one is looking down and the other one is looking straight uh, to the side. Pretty awesome. I like how this is integrated. I also like this kind of old school frame here. Very nice. Really everything uh, I feel like fits very well together. Right? So that's pretty cool. By the way, yes. <laughs> if you look at that portrait, is it how did they photograph this? Because you see the tea is going into the cup, but it looks like the cap is already like filled to the rim. Either this is ov overflowing in the next second, or or maybe it's just golden inside and it's empty. I'm not sure. Anyways, oh wow, okay, Yurik um, has created this. Wow, okay, let's see the original pictures. Oh, this is a lion. Okay, so there's a big lion here with a big mane, and then we have this guy. I think Indian, maybe. Not sure. Looks pretty cool. Very fuzzy um, beard. <laughs> Looks very nice, and the pink turban. Okay, and by the way, why is this an original picture also? Maybe it is. Because here the fur looks kind of burnt. It's very high contrast, especially then when it, it goes over into this other fur here from the mane. Um, so uh, the mane, uh, in most parts, the blending of the mane into the fur is pretty nice. Sometimes like up here, you see there's a little bit kind of a, what it looks like an edge. And then here also it's kind of, it looks a little bit strange. Um, but most of the parts also over here is kind of a, a, a transparency or some, something that doesn't quite work with the beard in the background. And then the main thing is that his the, the lion's face is very high contrast and then the rest is not very high contrast. And it's kind of, it, 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 it pops the head out of the, of the picture. A lot more if this contrast was softer and would blend better with the hair it would be a lot more realistic it still looks cool it's just like they the different styles of these two photos don't mix too well right there's the next one from tony uh david bowie that's it yes marie thanks david bowie yes i rotated the head and also used the gradient map over the cat with the gray of her outfit so it would be even closer in coloring. Awesome. Really cool. That was in response to this here. Yes, absolutely. You see how everything like the clothing and the cat is blending together from these values while here um, it's a little bit different from the values. You see this gray cat, a little bit light blue shirt here. So yeah, and this is bringing everything more together. All right, pretty cool. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, is this again a, a dog wearing the glasses? Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, this is something I don't get. Why do you have carriages for, for dogs? If you want to walk the dog and the dog doesn't have any walking space in your flat, shouldn't he walk outside when he gets a chance and not be like carded around in, in a baby cart. I don't I don't get that trend. I get it for cats because there's also these kind of things for cats and sometimes cats like to be outside and go around but you can't do it in cities because it's too dangerous and so at least they can see the outside. But for dogs, I don't understand that. Very strange. Anyways, um, I hope this is not your dog because I'm I'm not I'm not trying to criticize you for doing. If you want to do that, just do that. I just I think walking the dog would be a better choice maybe for the dog. But if you want to do that, do that. I'm not I'm not saying don't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I like how you pro did you prolong the hair? Yes. I like how you did that. You see here the hair is like cut off by that back. Or, or card 
and then here it's longer so it's hanging down here on the side over that uh, part of the um, of the of the head in the background by the way as a little detail that's that's a problematic thing is that the helmet of the original person is sticking out uh, underneath the head of the dog which doesn't make too much sense because the dog is not wearing a helmet so why is there a helmet piece down there so either cover that up maybe with more hair or put the dog head a little bit uh, lower because I feel like it's a little bit high anyways uh, or maybe another another picture where the person is not wearing a helmet uh, like this you can see this part is sticking out maybe you missed that um, yeah so either cover it up with something or different picture because I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to replace this with body parts with shirt and everything back here you could probably do it by by bringing these parts over here and stuff but it's a lot of work it's better to just choose a, a picture with a person or, who doesn't wear a helmet in that um, situation not my dog I asked the owner's permission oh really okay cool so it's it's still your photo okay pretty awesome very nice okay Good. So this is as far as I can see all of the entries. Let me reload that. Maybe it was a late entry here. No, that wasn't a late entry. Okay. Um, let's go here. Boom. There we go. <laughs> I have a special device to change the scenes, and yet I still forget to change the scenes sometimes. So that's a kind of upsetting. Woo! What happened around now? Uh huh? No, everything is good. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a long stream. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought I'd wait maximum one and a half hours, so we're a little bit over the time, but we did some really cool edits today. So I hope you enjoyed that. And of course, I want to do these live streams now every Sunday again, and then a weekly challenge every week also. So we're going to have a lot of fun together. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Yeah. And um, thank you all so much also for being more active in the chat. This really, really helps me. So ask questions, interact, do things in the chat. It's really helpful to, yeah, <laughs> keep the flow going. Okay, awesome. Good. So I think that's everything for tonight. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. We'll